Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for June 19th through the 25th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. So let's see, Aries, Ben. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the fool. Okay, that's a good energy. I mean, it's very open, very, hey, let's take life as it comes kind of an energy. So it's quite good. Um, trying to figure out if you're there or you're heading in that direction. Regardless, it's still it's still around this energy, so it's good. Uh, we'll see more when we clarify. In the recent past, the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. You may have rushed into a situation here. There's definitely a whole lot of perseverance, a whole lot of determination to get something done. It could be tied up to your work or something you've been working on um, or just wanting to get something started, like let's go, let's do, let's ooh. Um, not even started, probably it was already started because I see the work being in there, but just rushing at some point through this process, you know, which kind of comes through a little bit as uh, deceptive, maybe things didn't turn out that great because, again, there seems to be a rushed kind of an energy here. Um, in the current situation, the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Interesting. Man, you got a lot of energy to give here. There's a lot you're giving into things, which is great. Kind of, for some reason, I'm being pointed. Well, I'm being pointed. I'm being pulled into... Uh, looking for the receiving end. Like you give, you give, you give. Where's the receiving part of that, you know? Because um, I'm uh, I'm looking at the immediate future, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, and I see the potential there, but I don't see you're receiving. Anyways, in the current situation, you're giving, again, um, to a situation that's very meaningful for you. I don't know what it is exactly. It could be tied up to what happened there in the past, but I kind of see it as something different. Because um, this time around, you're coming in with a very passionate kind of an energy, very, you know, it's not raw, let's go. It's more like, hmm, I like giving to the situation, so I'm gonna keep giving because, you know, why not? Um, draws me in it's feeling good why the hell not to give to this so and i'm seeing the hierophant there which could indicate um if not a connection that's quite powerful at least something that's really meaningful to you um so it could be that you're focusing a lot more on things that um speak to you rather than okay let's just do things you know in the immediate future the eight of cups the knight of wands the hermit that's where I was trying to get with this whole reading, because so far in the reading, again, there's a lot of you giving, you know, um, possibly in different directions towards your work, towards things that maybe you think you should give towards, I don't know, um, and then things that mean something to you. And then comes this energy right here that's approaching you and it wants to give to you. You know, and it's quite healing because I feel like it's coming to teach you how to receive because you're not available for it. You're like, mm, it looks good, feels good, but no, thank you. You know, so interesting. Let's uh, clarify. Let me clarify the full. Three of Cups, Five of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Okay, the ups and the downs of a situation. You're learning a lot from a particular uh, situation you're dealing with currently. And uh, there's times where things are going great. Uh, and there's times where there's conflict. Things are not looking that great in this within the situation. Overall, your energy is really open towards it. So you're showing me that you're invested in it. So it's not one of those things that comes and goes and it's like, oh, okay, I'll give to this now because it's here, but eh, whatever. So it's, again, signifying some sort of importance for you in this situation. 
Um, but I do see the ups and downs here that are possibly happening quite frequently. And there's definitely a, a sense of you, instead of getting pissed off by, you know, this little bit of roller coaster here, you're actually learning a lot from it. So nice that you're open to learning from it. Let's do, 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 do the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Moon, the Four of Cups. Yeah, in this energy where you give in the past there, that's what I thought initially, but now it's definitely confirmed. Um, you're showing up in an energy of, you know how sometimes we do certain things because we have to. You know, you have a job and you, you don't really like it. It doesn't really align with you. It's, you know, you do it because you do it, but it's not. Um, so I see you giving in situations like that just because just cause you have to, you know, but if I were to like ask you, really ask you and, you know, looking for a reply, an honest reply from you, like, why are you giving to this? I do believe that in this instance, you would tell me because I have to, but not really knowing even what that means. So it's definitely one of those situations or, or multiple of those situations in which you gave, you gave, you gave. For what? You know, or why? Why do you give to these things? Because you're showing me they're not important to you. You know, there's nothing there um, of importance, but you still kind of give your energy to certain situations. And it could be especially tied up to work or things you've been working on, you know. Let's do the Eight of Pentacles. The Magician, the Death card, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I do see you stepping into these things with a desire to get there. It's like wanting something really bad. And then when we have it, we actually realize, hmm, this is not what I thought or this is not good for me, you know. So it kind of feels like that because uh, it feels like you want more than whatever situations you got yourself into there, you know. But you still gave to those because it's almost feeling like a little bit of getting slowly but surely into that point of asking yourself, why the hell am I doing this? You know, um, but I feel like that lasted for a while, especially with the Five of Swords, where you were just kind of playing some sort of part here, some sort of. Let me follow certain rules, and I don't even know why I'm doing it, you know? Uh, for the Five of Swords, you get the Temperance card, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Cups. I mean, the bottom line in your pursuit was that of happiness, for sure. Um, it wasn't through those things, whatever those things were, you know? And, again, this reminds me a lot of, you know, even I personally had certain things that I thought I wanted for myself until... Um, you know, years after or something like that, I, I I just heard a voice into my head saying, no, this is not it, you're done here, you know? So it's kind of looking like that a little bit where in the moment you believe, yeah, this is, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to invest in. And you are. And then it's like, no, that's not it, you know? So it kind of feels like a little bit of a, a little bit of a big aha moment for you where you stopped giving into things that you couldn't find the the right answer for you know for the question why are you doing this why are you giving here interesting now that's why now you're showing up a little different um for the ace of wands you get the page of swords the queen of wands the world card <sighs> interestingly enough because you're showing me you're taking things from a different angle uh, in terms of giving, you know, the giving transformed into, I'm going to give to something that's meaningful to me. But when push comes to shove, when it's time to actually give, because it is important, it's like, uh, yeah, maybe you're exhausted from giving before to things that were not that important to you. I see you giving energetically. I'm not seeing you giving physically. You know, uh, almost physically telling yourself, nah, I'm not going to do this. Wow, you're taking me for a ride in this reading. Let's do the Seven of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot, the Five of Pentacles. Okay, that's 
that's more like it for me to to see what what the hell is happening here and why you're not given as much you're scared you're scared that you know who knows scared of failure scared of abandonment scared that you will give and it is important and what if it goes away with what you already gave you know uh whatever this is or whoever this is um so the stake is definitely higher here than in the past there and that's when fear shows up that's when insecurity shows up so i'm not surprised that this is here and to me again it's start it's starting to make sense why when it's important you're not given as much um <clears throat> there's fear there there's massive massive fear but the good part about it is that you want to work around that fear you know um you don't want to let it stop you for the hierophant you get the nine of swords the five of cups the seven of wands the bigger the stake the deeper this goes for you and the more importance it carries ah that's stressful it's gonna get for you here and again all of that is just your fear kind of playing out into your head and creating all of this overthinking and keeping you busy here so that you're not available from here because this is the place where you give from, you know? So you're very active up here this time around. If before you were on autopilot, now it's, it's a different kind of story because again, whatever you want to give to right now carries significance. Let's do the Eight of Cups in the immediate future, the King of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. I mean, you're going to struggle with this one for a little bit by what I can see here. Uh, the more you stay in this fear, uh, even though consciously you want to work with it, it keeps you busy. While it keeps you busy here, you're staying here with it. Instead of just feeling your way through the fear and just seeing what's on the other end of it. Um, but apparently it's keeping you busy here. And the more you stay here, yeah, you're going to gain a little more clarity over what's what, but you're still not here. It's still going to keep you disconnected from your heart, you know? So I kind of get the sense that you are making progress in terms of dealing with this mind chatter um, over what's going on in the current situation, but you're still detached from your heart. You're still showing up detached from your heart. For the Knight of Wands, you get the Knight of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Queen of Pentacles. Whatever energy this is that comes your way, it's definitely here. Um, oh man, it's very grounding and very healing. It's almost here to teach you to pause, to be in the present. To, to It's here to teach you a lot about self-love too. Um, this energy is not going to show up as whoever this is. They're carrying a lot of grounding energy, but they're not going to show up grounded at all. They might show up like, yay, let's party, you know, like that fun person that who knows? Because they're showing up in a very different way than what they're actually carrying and bringing into the situation. But they're definitely teaching you the lesson of standing still, you know, um, whoever this is. And it could be, even be a friend. Who knows? could be more than that, but... Uh, it's a helpful kind of an energy, you know, if you want to learn from it. For the Hermit, you get the Ace of Swords, the Emperor, the Seven of Cups. Okay, uh, definitely settling more within yourself there. Uh, gaining clarity, a lot of clarity over time, especially on how to deal with the situation in the current that's presenting itself in the current right now. Because I feel like it's it's become very confusing for you at this point to the point of... Maybe at times thinking you're going mad, you know. Um, but again, the good news is you're getting clarity. There's an energy that's coming your way to help and to teach you the importance of standing still um, and just being in the present. So it's good. The part about getting clarity is good and it's opening up for you a lot of possibilities, a lot of options um on what to do further um i still don't see you connected to your heart you know not yet but hopefully that's in 
uh, the next episode. <laughs> Uh, for, from the universe, you get the emperor, the strength card, the judgment card. Yeah, this is deep, what the universe just told you here, because you're stepping into your power big time. I mean, the emperor showed up twice, especially once towards the end of the reading and once from the universe, and that's your energy. You're definitely stepping into your power or back into your power. Um, whatever this is, as confusing as it may show up at times or as, ah, you know, like it, you feel like you're who knows what um it's teaching you to step back into your power there you know to take control of you um because that's all you can do with this situation uh there's a lot of emphasis in within this reading of where you put your energy where you give your energy and also learning how to receive uh when help is on the way because sometimes it's it's there around us and we don't even know that it's there and we don't know how to receive a lot of times so but yeah interesting reading but that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye